there's been so many um, testimonies come back off of that, that CD that I did. I never, I didn't do that CD to market it. <laughs> I did that CD one night in a church in Missouri, about three o'clock, I couldn't sleep. I had the equipment in the sanctuary, I just went in there and punched the CD recorder and sat down and started worshiping. Amen. And uh, that's where that CD originated. And I just can't tell you how many testimonies that we've had come back off of that. And I'm thankful for that because it's not anything to do with me other than just God moving through my hands. And I appreciate Him doing that. Um, that CD is being played all over Asia. Amen. <laughs> Go figure. Amen. <laughs> so God has really put His hands on that and some of the other things it can. And we're thankful for that. Um, the song that I'm going to sing for you tonight is a, uh, it's called At Calvary. How many of you know the old church hymn? Mm -hmm. Years I spend in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified. Okay. Uh, well, no, not was for me. He died at Calvary. That was the first song I ever learned to play on the piano. And it was, wouldn't even be anything you'd want to hear. <laughs> because it was like, down, down with one finger, you know. But um, uh, years later, uh, when I got old enough to realize um, the blessing that my heritage was uh, and realizing where all my heritage emanates from and it comes from Calvary, uh, everything that I am, ever have been, ever will be is from Calvary. And one of the things that I have found that is when you begin to experience difficulties and problems in your lives, that it's usually because you kind of wandered away from Calvary. Not that the fact of being at Calvary will do away with all the trials and the problems in your life. That if that were the truth, everybody would be at Calvary. Amen? Amen. I mean, there wouldn't be any sinners because if you could come to the Lord and do away with all your problems, who wouldn't want to be there, right? Right. But it doesn't work that way. The way it works is that when you come to Calvary, you get a companion. Yeah. You get a comforter. And uh, you get um, forgiveness. And you get justification. Right, right. And the, the blood of Jesus that was shed at Calvary does all those things in your yeah, life. Yeah. And then when you go through difficulties and things, uh, you know, you have somebody to walk through you, yeah. walk through it with you. And that makes all the difference in the world. I can, I can honestly say that there have been things that I've been through in my life that I could not have gone through without Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I'm so thankful that He has been given to, uh, to help us through those things. So um, it's very difficult. I've, I've been at Calvary now for ooh, a long time. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. But I've been through, there's been through, I've been a lot. And um, I've been through a lot health-wise and, and uh, spiritually-wise. And um, the list goes on and on. But I find that I can find what I need at Calvary. Amen. And if you don't understand what I mean by saying at Calvary, I mean at the cross. Yeah. Where, yeah. You know, uh, at the cross where you find all the things that you need to put your life together again. Yeah. When your life falls apart. You know, you can put it back together again if you go go back to Calvary. And so, a few years ago, I wrote this song. It's called At Calvary. And um, it's just really my testimony. And so, I, I pray that you'll be blessed tonight.